if you find yourself in a no-win situation, what should you do? This is an important question for vlog number 21 on my YouTube channel. I'm coming to you live from Waikiki, Oahu on a perfect day to talk about you and a perfect day to talk about no-win situations. Now, today is an object lesson, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera, right? And right behind me, I got this man-made structure of concrete and rocks and asphalt. Back over there, we got Waikiki, but right here behind me now that I've rotated, see the road ends. And sometimes you get put in a situation where your your back is up against the wall and you're like, so what do I do? How do I fix this? What do I gotta do to maintain? Well, the first thing you should be doing consistently is playing the what if game because things only stay good for so long and then things change, right? So you work for a company and you're happy with them. Well, you know, you got a good run with them and then all of a sudden things change and like, you're like, oh, I didn't see that coming. But like, if you would have sat down and said, what happens if they change the comp plan? What happens if, you know, uh, they, they change ownership. So you could do the same thing with a relationship. What happens if my significant other comes in and leaves me? What happens if I lose my job, right? And I'm not saying you have to go nuts and go crazy and go overboard and create some sort of crazy journal around this, but it's just, you know, think through your problems and your processes. So first is the what if game. The second is to do like what Benjamin Franklin did. And he did, I'm gonna switch so you can see Diamond Head like right there, <laughs> right? Right there, there's Diamond Head. Um, Benjamin Franklin would do the Ben Franklin clo clothes and so he would write down the pros and the cons of, of a situation and I'm going to tell you that when it comes down to it sometimes you don't have the time or the ability to make a long term decision talk to family members and friends and sometimes you got to make that split second decision and in that case you always choose the best outcome for yourself you always choose the best outcome for you it doesn't really matter what happens to the other people because you got to take your best path now here's the thing you got to know that I've learned from being in sales a long term is that when you uh, reject somebody before they have the chance to reject you, what ends up happening is there's anger. So uh, let's say you go to somebody with some new big news. First there's shock and then there's surprise. And then over time you're gonna find that people quickly turn from shock and surprise to anger and frustration and they wanna take it out on you. In a no-win situation, you pick the path that's best for yourself. You can always talk to a friend, a family member, a coach, a mentor, a clergy member, Right? And some people are gonna give you insight, but ultimately you're gonna to have to make that decision. If you got the what if game going, you, you can be prepared. If you have time to make a list and do the Ben Franklin pros and cons, that's cool too. You can stack it up in your head real quick. you know. But remember, in a no-win situation for yourself, you take the best route for you. Now, if I walk this direction, right right in front of me, they got the, go. I can go to the beach. I always have an exit. I always got an exit. If I needed to, I could jump in the water and I could go swimming. You always have to have a plan B. And sometimes you gotta have a plan C now. If you've never been to my channel, you got one thing to do, just one thing, find the subscribe button and click on it. And every time I send out a video, you'll get an update that says, Scott Bell Consultant sent another fantastic video. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping by, aloha.